All right. Next question. Raftronaut asks, the frog from Frogger is clearly going to work based on the briefcase they're carrying. So if you look at the graphic of the Frogger arcade cabinet, uh, it is a frog and he's got, okay, I'm looking at this. It is a very realistic looking frog, but he is, he is wearing a tie and he has a little vest on and he is holding a briefcase. Okay. And he is, he is going, he is going. Oh uh, yeah. I assume he's, he's about to cross the street here. Mm-hmm. Now, I, r- I rarely allude to conversations we have before we press the record button. But Bart and I, oh, I was going to jump right oh, into oh, it. Oh, okay, okay. I know. So I want to, I want to just like disarm this like tension here. Yeah. Let me. So let me ask the actual question: What type of job do you think the Frogger Frog is commuting to? Okay. Where so, is he going? Bart, so before I, you jump in, before you jump I will, in, I will. I will. Before, I've got my own personal answer, and then I've got another answer. Oh. And I think you've got another answer too. Oh, I do. I, I I looked at Connor. I was like, you know, what? I'm thinking about this Frogger thing, and I decided, what the fuck? I'm going to type the question into Chat GPT and see what it comes exactly. see what it comes back with, right? right. And I said, exactly. all right. <laughs> I said the frog, uh, the frog from Frogger is going to a job. Where does he work? Make it funny, and that's just what I said. <laughs> and it came back with two answers, and here we go. This is what Chat GPT told me: the frog from Frogger works as a quote jump consultant, helping other frogs navigate <laughs> the perilous paths of life with his unparalleled expertise in leaping across busy streets and avoiding dangerous obstacles. His briefcase is filled with top secret froggy jumping strategies and a lifetime <laughs> supply of fly snacks. And I said, ah, "No, give me another one." <laughs> So then it says the frog from Frogger works as a quote webbed developer specializing in creating (laughs) innovative and cutting edge amphibious websites. His briefcase is full of files, bugs, and a USB stick with the latest version of Hop ML, hopping markup language. That's what I got from Chat GPT. That's really good. We should uh, we should get Chat GPT on the podcast. Oh look. Okay, this is my favorite. This is thing way about, funnier than any shit I could come up with. My favorite thing crazy. about ChatGPT is that it's it's not about ChatGPT; it's about what you put into ChatGPT, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> First of all, yes, that's an amazing fucking answer. And I may I say, I prefer the hopping consultant. I think that's actually the superior answer. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> this is so, I love this question. Me too. Uh, my my like personal take is I look at the Frogger picture and I think. He's a teacher. I can't tell you why, but I think he's a teacher who's going to a job because he's got this like briefcase that like feels like it's got kids homework in it or something. Mm -hmm. And he's like late and he's like, he's got a real (laughs) sense of urgency about him. (laughs) He's got this urgency. That's really weird. But I asked chat GPT and (laughs) what I've done, my chat GPT that I've like configured is like, please give me the most curt and like just straight up answer. Cause I'm fed up with this whole, like as an AI language model, I can't possibly like fucking Mm -hmm. give me, give me the answer. So I said, I said, the frog from Frogger is clearly going to work based on the briefcase they're carrying. What type of job do you think the Frogger frog is going to? Accountant. <laughs> That's it. Okay. So All I right. said, so I said, elaborate. And it said, well, the Frogger frog, known for its precise and calculated movements to avoid obstacles, suits the role of an accountant. This job requires meticulous attention to detail, the ability to navigate complex environments like financial systems, in parentheses, oh my God. a methodical strategic approach mirroring the frog's gameplay tactics. The briefcase symbolizes the responsibility and professionalism inherent in the accounting profession. <laughs> and so wow. I thought this was ridiculous. Okay. So I said, please describe the internal monologue of Frogger going to work as an accountant, <laughs> as written by Aaron Sorkin for a movie with Frogger as the main character. This should be an introductory monologue in the style of Fight Club. <laughs> and I gave it a few attempts, but may I please give you my dramatic reading? Of please. This? Oh man. Oh my God. Here we go. Oh, can you can you do this in your American accent? Let me see if I can clear my throat here. <clears throat> Every morning, it's the same reflection. I'm Frogger's stale predictability, trapped in a cycle of jump, land, repeat. I'm his nine to five routine a life measured in spreadsheets and coffee breaks. To the world, I'm Frogger's sensible shoes, treading a well-worn path from lily pad to cubicle. But inside, well inside, I'm Frogger's smoldering ambition, a wildfire, a swamp of complacency. I'm a silent scream against the humdrum, a symphony of what-ifs and if-onlys playing on loop, 
I'm the dream he tucked away, a forgotten melody of the cacophony of survival. In the ledger of life, I'm Frogger's unbalanced equation, his yearning for more than just debits and credits. So watch me as I go through the motions, but know this, inside Frogger's buttoned up exterior beats the heart of a rebel, ready to jump into the unknown. Cause I'm not just Frogger's cautious step, I'm his boundless leap. Over the last good. one, that's pretty good. On his boundless leap, like what is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it, he just blew up his accounting building. Oh my god, <laughs> that's, <good>. that's <laughs> literally <laughs> it. I was just like, that is amazing. The chat GPT gave me a a movie script <laughs> for the Frogger Accounting Fight Club movie. Wow.